biodiversity as nowadays it, it has become the core of understanding the values the uh, importance of nature as we know that there is a rapid change in the environmental conditions rapid change in the pattern of uh, rainfall climatic variabilities we see since last hundreds of years since last thousands of years so many things has happened in the nature and we could have to, uh, could able to identify such changes some changes are good some changes are bad no doubt we have to see we have to live with such such changes we have to accept such changes we have to fit what your changes are going on in the nature likewise humans so called the super power of this particular nature uh, has the prime responsibility to check the changes in the nature to see what your things are happening outside by understanding different kinds of you know elements of the nature the way they have interaction with the plants with the animals some birds insects so many things are there in the nature therefore the first slide is with respect to the life life in the nature that is water it start from water it is end with the water likewise we can see the tremendous diversity in the plants and uh, subsequently if you see this particular photo it's a close up close up of something it's a close up of the wings of hawk moth you must be knowing that there are moths night dwelling nocturnal moths are there in the nature now the structure their ornamentation their, their pattern on the uh, their wings are so unique we'll come back to the biodiversity point of view as you know very well that the small region here the western ghat sayadri it is one of the most important biodiversity hotspot in the world and the reason is there that compared to the world's biodiversity hotspot western ghat is very unique a narrow patch right from north south gujarat up to kanyakumari we get tremendous diversity in plants animals insects and the thing which is very unique and globally uh, considered as more than 250 million of population of india is directly depending on this particular small patch which is globally recognized because of, because of there are so many plants insect animals they are restricted their presence in this particular landmass that's why it is globally recognized and as i told you that it is one of the most sensitive part sensitive region which uh, uh which is harboring tremendous diversity if you see this slide we get so many things with respect to this western ghat we can see the invertebrates mammals fresh water fishes reptiles birds ants butterflies okay the damsel flies the dragon flies all such diversity makes it more uh, visible with respect to the unique diversity in this particular region western ghats okay now we should have to understood the way it is showing its uniqueness and we have to think why western ghats as we know that the external morphological characters external climatic conditions they are leading the uh, more amount of diversity as we know that the richness in plants and animal diversity more ret ret you must be knowing that rare endangered threatened and endemic plants which has been recognized at the globally uh, at global level by iucn they are more in number most of them are critically endangered many of them are 
on the way of extinction likewise it becomes a more sensitive part of biodiversity rich region in the world and that's why it has been recognized one of the unique landmarks by the unesco and let me tell you friend in this 160000 square kilometer region sayadri is as the unesco has declared in this region the 39 places which are national heritage sites and out of them four are located in, in maharashtra fortunately they are very unique very very unique because the pattern of you know uh, biodiversity is really showing its uniqueness now is our prime responsibility to tell about, uh, around uh, uh, about this particular biodiversity to the common people to the layman the society that this particular biodiversity is very unique and it's actually a combination combination of life forms and whatever things happen wrong with this we cannot regain it we cannot uh develop those species which has got extinct that's why the new frog families from india reveals an ancient biogeographical link with us with the seashells you must be knowing that some frogs which were there during dinosaurus period right now during 2003 almost 20 years back it has been recorded from south india especially from the kerala state and that particular frog looks like something different and and it has a connection between the frogs of the seychelles islands from the south africa especially in the eastern part near madagascar a seychelles island is there and all these things are very unique with their uh, habitats their the rain pattern temperature humidity all such things and that's why more than 80% of rainfall occurs in this 3 4 months especially right from june july august september during this period it receives ample amount of rainfall and that follows by the winter and again then again the summer likewise such cycle has going on since last thousands of years now in this region i have already mentioned but the highly protected areas having 20 national parks and 68 wildlife sanctuaries and it shows such uniqueness in maharashtra in form of these four places namely koina chandoli kas plateau dajipur radhanagri wildlife sanctuary these are the representation of the biodiversity rich regions in the western ghat now we should have to see in what way the plants the animals and all human beings have the interactions now there are the layers of interactions which are foundation for biodiversity because we know that there is a parallel evolution right from last thousands of years last lakhs of years between animals plants between plants and insects likewise we get the interaction no doubt it is for food and shelter as well therefore the diversity of interactions increases by orders of magnitude what is that magnitude plants are attacked by different types of species try to understand to get the food and around means it is recorded that around 200 to 300 species of plants insects they are actually attacking the plants fully they are going to uh, disturb the plant life and some insects they chased by 15 to 10 species of predators like insect eating plants i to understand there is a interaction there is a survival pattern there is a pattern of food interaction or the food interchange likewise we found that the parallel evolution among the plants and insects plants and birds plants and animals now we should have to see another pattern that in the forest ecosystem that is for the pollination for the seed dispersal predation of seeds seedlings as well 
<coughs> as it, all of you know that for the plants pollination is one of the most important part in the life of plants that may be self pollinated but for those where the cross pollination is required in those plants it is found that to get attracted attracted by the insects plant has to display in such a manner that display may be in form of their you know number i'm telling you about number of flowers in the plants what different types of or colors of the flowers are there the structure is very unique sometime flower number is less in that flowers we get very specific shape very specific structures in the flowers in some plants the agencies of seed dispersal are not well developed they need some external agencies that's why the plants are those plants the dispersal mechanism is not fixed but the if their agencies are fixed and fine then the structures has developed maybe in the seeds on the structure of the seeds when that may be their weight some fruits are very unique they are very much attractive please note that if some flowers are so beautiful that beautiful does they need it is for all human beings so what we are thinking but in many plants the fruit structure the fruit color the requirement of the flowers uh, that is the their pollinators amount of nectar what is there the flower let me tell you friends in the beginning when the the starting point of angiospermic flowers that time the structure was very simple they don't have many uh, number of petals petals were not so attractive in those condition their pollinators were was you know very normal kinds of insects like beetles like dung beetles the normal beetles okay such plants we also found having interaction with the insects i'm going to show some photos and i'm trying to explain you the way the plants are having interaction with such insects likewise likewise one has to see their habitats habitat wise also we get the changes likewise we get this pattern especially in which uh, forest type we get this then this is the habitats we call it as a micro habitats somewhere in the cliffs somewhere on the trees somewhere in the availability of water sometime here in the under uh, growth means this is a carvey uh, habitat where nowadays you see the situation like this there are so many gingivers so many you know root parasites then the parasitic plants they used to grow in this situation if you see the small this this puddle where some some ericolons some uh pocostemons they used to come up likewise we get the habitat habitat wise the changes especially in the aquatic habitat we see the unique pattern likewise here the pink color if you see that uh, those all those plants are actually late leaf flowering plants those white are quite earlier especially on the plateau vegetation these are pocostemons and the whites are ericolons okay likewise i'm going to show you the flowers structure in detail in close up okay likewise we see the pattern here let me tell you other than microbes bacteria there are so many insects they are working for the decomposition process in the recycling process in the nature in the habitat in in the in the uh, typical you know a uh, forest region in this litter there are so many insects they are taking their part though they may not be able to fly but they just going through this particular uh, uh, leaf litters this particular leaf litters became a particular niche a unique habitat for such insects now these are the things which makes the forest 
uh, uh, to that particular level. Therefore, right from this level up to the pollination, up to the dispersal level, we could be able to find the interaction, very unique interaction among the plants. Okay, these are the recyclers, as I told you, that microbes are there, but the fungal diversity, it also leads the role in the decomposition process. Likewise, we see the endemic pattern. Okay, now, uh, if you see this particular group of plants, these are called as Ceropegias. If you see the tube, each such Ceropegia has unique pattern of the flower. In this group of plant, the plants are actually tuberous. Tubers are there in the ground, but the flowers you see with very unique pattern of the development of flower. Here, the tube is going up to this, and then later on, sometime the tip of the flower, especially the leaf, uh, the uh, petal lobes, they are they are opening their tube elongately like this. Sometime very small opening you see. Here also very small but hidden kind of opening you see. Here this opening is quite smaller. Here also the pattern of these lobes at the tip are very, very unique. Now this particular plant, if we see, if we cut the flower, we see that there are so many insects, they get only entry, but they won't get any exit unless and until the flower get pollinated by the involvement of small insects. Here at the top, the hairs, they are quite sharper at the tip. They are their orientation towards the downside so that insect can enter through the opening. Means whenever the insect go inside, it has to reach to the bottom here, where as you know that at the base, there is an ovary. You know that somewhere here, there is a stigma. And likewise, same flowers or from same plant or from the other different plants, if the pattern of cross pollination is carried out, such pattern is there. Likewise, what plants need? Plants need its pollination. Unless and until that insect take a role, take part in pollination. And once the flower, the plant get flower get pollinated, then the this particular flower get bent. And through this bottom opening, the insect can escape. This is a very unique pattern of pollination we found in uh, India, especially in this particular um, uh, Ceropegias. Friends, Ceropegia is very, very important element in plant diversity, plant biodiversity in India, because this is the only genus which has very large number of species which are more and more endemic to uh, different parts of our country. In Maharashtra, it has almost 34 species. More than 85% plants are endemic. Try like to understand the way it has developed its unique pattern with respect to its habitat, with respect to its pollinators, with respect to the way it is going with its adjoining uh, plants, especially grasses. Likewise, one can see the pattern if we see the association among mammals and the plants, this particular Hanuman langur, Semnopithecus entilus, we have nine species in India and mainly feeds on fruits, leaves, and tender leaves. It is recorded that 126 species of plants, those are acting as a food plant of this particular langur. And interestingly, as the langurs are actually a uh, arboreal uh, species, that means which is generally lives at the canopies at the on the trees. That's why among these 126 species, there are 20, 79 species are trees. 
and mostly you we know that the figs or like ficus there are jamuns there are caryotas like you know barley mud what we call them then terminalias like irida beda and uh, there are so many other terminalias okay and those are the species which act as an important food for those um, birds those mammals and even in some cases this particular langurs showing the association between two mammals you know that there is a plant namely madhuka moha mohua in central india wherever you see the flowers generally that mohua flowers during april and may you can see wherever the langurs are there at the top with the flowers of this mohua is there it is acting as a very nutritious food for the monkeys especially these langurs whenever you see that plant you definitely get uh, the appearance the existence of this hanuman langur at the same time at the top you see if you see this langur <coughs> you can see number of spotted deer below this particular tree and somewhere if it is there and this langur act as a signaling uh, element natural element for the uh, spotted deer or the sambar okay because wherever the tree is there we get the flowering if flowers are there we get the hanuman langur if we get the hanuman langur somewhere we get the sambar or spotted deer at the beneath at the on the ground and there is a possibility more possibility of sighting uh tigers near to that particular region and here the interaction is with respect to food tiger is following the sambar or spotted deer sambars are uh you are they are very hungry as the other plants they don't have the flowers there is scarcity of food there is no grass grassland or grass available in that case they used to eat the tender leaves but during the summer season the leaves are not available the grasses are not, not available in that case such such animals ground dwelling animals herbivores they used to search this particular mohua trees and likewise we get the association no doubt this particular langur is acting as a signaling um, um, element for the uh, ground dwelling gra animals like spotted deer and uh, for the sambar as well likewise these are the some food plants of hanuman langur there are you know sometimes flowers sometimes leaves some fruits they get consumed by hanuman langurs this is an, another interesting plant you might be having this kate sour it is known as the bombax seba and along with this uh, you know ficus like what we call it word umber all such plants they are known as a keystone species or a flag sheep species important element of a particular jungle because whenever the flowers are there in the jungle that means other plants they don't flower such mechanism so some such innate signaling mechanism is there in such plants we can see this particular flowers at the beginning of summer especially in the month of february the full plant is shedding their leaves to get more visible it produces many number of flowers and it get easily visible let me tell you friends through the course of evolution we know that the number of in uh, androsium or the, or the stamens they are becoming more and more in some cases like this plant bombax the amount of filaments they are more but those are in bundles means in many bundles we get the filaments can you see this the many number why this many number is there because it has to get more it has to show the most maximum possibility to get pollinated by not only through the insects but birds it has recorded that more than 28 different species 
of the birds they used to feed on the on these particular plants for what for nectar it gets more visible and fortunately this family bombacaceae is one among the plant group it has many number of pollinators especially birds pollinator one more plant is there gorachinsa this is also belonging to same family it flowers during night time and bats are acting as its pollinator there is a hirvi savar sometimes son savar is there all such bombax or bombacaceae members those are acting as important source of food for the birds for the mammal like um, bats that's why those are called as a key stone species and they, they are providing the nectar in a very very high amount not only you know in this particular plant or not only the birds get involved but insects get involved so many honey bees they used to go there to collect maximum amount of uh, nectar not only nectar but also the pollen grains try to understand that the honey bees are one among the all insect group are very very unique i'm going to discuss after this particular slide later on but let me tell you this one plant is acting as most important source of food for the plants that's why it is called as a key stone species or a flag chip species in the ecosystem this is the plant very very unique plant very very rare critically endangered plants declared by iucn in era data book of plants it is recorded the actual pollinator is not known but the possible apis mellifera and some dipteran flies those are acting as possible pollinator friends this is abitilon ranadi 23 years back we have recorded we have rediscovered this plant its existence from two location before that scientists were thinking that this plant has got extinct because we rec we could not able to re record its existence from its type locality <coughs> type locality that means just a moment friends type locality means the first time if the scientist has collected a particular plant which later on becomes a new or novelty discovery and that particular locality is known as a type locality during 99 we found we could not able to record this plant from ambagat that's why we have sent the letter to iucn and then they also incorporated this under critically endangered category and let me tell you that this plant is having a bell shaped hanging flowers the bell shaped flowers itself reflects pollinator is unique some birds must be there if you see this drop this drop is nothing but the nectary present at the bottom but as it is a bell shaped hanging flower it reach to the petal the tip of the petal that means it reflects some amount of light it reflects some coloration some radiations out of it that means its pollinator can easily get recognized so that the pattern of the anthers are in such a way that if any bird can try to reach to this part of the flower to the bottom of the flower it get that bird get easily dusted by these pollens likewise here the anther uh, filaments uh, as well as here at the tip the stigmas are there as you know that if you are quite aware about the hibiscus this also belonging to same family but in hibiscus we get the compact arrangement of uh, stigma here we get the five stigma here one two three four five likewise all five stigma get equal opportunity to get dusted by the pollens from other plant likewise we get 
this particular pollination. Unfortunately, the specific mechanism of uh, the pollination has yet to come up. That's why we feel that the main reason behind this rare particular plant is its pollinator. Its habitat is very, very restricted at the steep slope of our Sayadri ranges, especially Torna Fort is there, Ambagat is there. If you see the close encounter, one has to see the association or interaction. I'm really thankful to your principal, Dr. Laure, sir, because he has, uh, uh, today morning only, he called me and uh, he was asking, Ki, sir, can we have a lecture for a student, especially the topic with respect to the insect human interaction. I requested him, you put plants, plant, insect, and human being interaction. Friend, as we know that there are so many uh, plants, you know, insects, birds, even from the Mauritius, you must be knowing, you must have read somewhere that the dodo was a bird who, who got extinct from that particular continent, that particular island. Later on, scientists <coughs> found that one palm has also got extinct. That means the bird was the important dispersal agent of that particular palm. Once the bird has got extinct, immediately after subsequent years, that palm has got extinct. Likewise, we get so many interaction for the student of you know, botany, environmental science, biology, biodiversity, ecology. If we would like to save a particular type of plants, particular species of bird or mammal, one has to check in how, in what way it has interaction with the with other part of the element in the nature. Either it is some insects, either it is some plants, either it is some habitat. Likewise, mainly such interaction is no doubt is highly sensitive with their habitat. This is my point with respect to this particular rare plant. What we found especially in the uh, jungles of Maharashtra. This is the minute representation of what avifaunal uh, elements we have in our jungle. This is a great pied hornbill, Malabar pied hornbill. They are actually important arboreal birds. Those are indicators of good quality forest because as you have seen, you must have seen somewhere that this great pied hornbill female keep herself in a small hole in the big trees and for entire that uh, process of egg laying then after some time interval the chicks come out and whatever parental care is there that is done that is made by the male uh, hornbills likewise we get that we see that such hornbills are mainly getting the health from the ficus elements there are so many other elements also, but during the parental care, the ficus fig members, they are readily get available for this plant, this particular bird to complete their uh, food requirement. Likewise, we see there are n number of birds and please friend, I'm requesting you to put your efforts, take your interest in this particular unique uh, interactive, uh, what we can say, the process for food, maybe for the hiding place and to keeping the particular habitat intact. Likewise, you should have to remember three Bs. That is English B. B for birds, B for bees, honey bees, and B for butterflies. Whenever these three elements are there, that means that particular region is have some sort of hope with respect to the um, balance ecosystem, balance environmental conditions. Likewise, one can see this butterfly uh, bird diversity in you know uh, many regions of our uh, jungles. Here, one group of plant like fig. Why in our you know ancient culture? Why in our literature the ficus, the banyan, then the people, then audumbar? Why those plants has so much importance? You forget the way it gives the services to human beings. 
you whenever you should have to think with respect to the diversity with respect to the mechanism of the ecosystem of the nature of the nature you keep human beings somewhere in the corner because humans can adjust any uh, climatic conditions but one has to see the way other plants other insects other birds mammals how they got interacted with the, the different elements of the nature it teaches us in what way we can have the association we, in what way we can have our existence likewise one plant this ficus bengalensis is giving ecological services to to many number of birds not only birds but also insects but also mammals what i shown as it is acting as one of the most important source of food for the hanuman langur likewise there are certain exotic species like is gulmohar this is a parakeet i um in many discussions i found that people says that the exotic species like this gulmohar it, it don't have that in a source of food but this is my personal experience observation that this ring rose parakeet or normal parakeet used to consume the nectar from the bottom of this particular plant this is representing uh, you know exotic species which has been introduced since last 100 150 uh, years as, as the nectar of a particular flower is over this particular parakeet removes removes the petals so that in the next visit there should not be any wastage of visit to get the nectar once it consume this particular bird consume the nectar from one flower that means wherever there are petals this bird should not have to visit because the nectar uh, content has already over that in that case this bird can get another another uh, flower for the nectar likewise we found now these birds can you see that there are so many butterflies so many insect like this apes serena apes dorsata likewise we get this particular interaction in subsequent slides we can see the uh, close up likewise we can understood the way they have interaction in the beginning i told you that there is a wonderful interaction between insects and plants one can say parallel evolution evolution is there parallel as i told you that in the beginning at the starting point of existence of all flowering plants the structure was simple in subsequent years we found that the flowers are showing more advanced kinds of structures likewise insects have also started to show such advancement now in this particular photo what we see we see that one plant is there and one caterpillar is there it has the interaction we know that there are insect eating plants why plants are eating insects because where they are growing there is a very less minimum or in many a time we, we plants could not get nitrogen in this particular land and to fulfill that nitrogen requirement naturally they produce some structure some organs who can trap the insects you must be knowing that venus's fly trap <laughs> or the pitcher plant we call it as a gattaparni this is drosera dava bindu this is from dava bindu plant and you see this is actually a leaves and at the tip of leaves some hairs are there which are called as the glandular hairs because the tip of this leaf is having the glands and through that glands some secretion is coming out and which is sticky in nature if the sunlight falls on it it re reflects some unique colors variation then some something due to which the insect gets attracted once the insect get attracted gets touched to that particular hair all her hairs get come together and they trap a particular insect if you easily see that this is one ant some mosquitoes are there somewhere here here also you can see some insect has got trapped by this particular insect eating plant carnivorous plant there is a big work on carnivory 
I'm going to show you one other another plant that is called as a pitcher plant. But this is the plant where the leaves got modified into glandular hairs, and such glandular hairs trap the insects. But the fascinating and amazing thing, what I have recorded, I have observed, is this: the caterpillar. As we know that insect has four stages in their life cycle. One is adult. Adult lay her eggs somewhere. From the eggs, the caterpillar come out, and from caterpillar, the cocoon develops, and from the cocoon, we get the adult insect. Likewise, we get the cycle. Here, the pattern has totally different. At one stage, one stage of a particular insect, the plants are eating them. That is in, at the adult stage, but at the in different part, some adult eating the insectivorous plant, especially the young leaves. I don't know when this particular pattern of eating insectivorous plant through caterpillar has started, because almost you know. Uh, 10 20 years 10 to 12 years back i have shown this photo to the renowned butterfly expert dr uh, krishna mekunte and uh, i was asking how it is happening why it is happening he said that we don't have any answer some work is going on or happen in some plants especially in the european countries but in india we don't have any such kind of study friends this is one of its only kind of observation in india i feel so fortunate because i got this uh, a representation of association in our forest likewise this is amazing group of plant Am I audible? Are you getting yes, me? Because yes, I'm not getting your response. Yes, sometimes. sir. You are clearly audible. Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank yes, you sir. very much. Actually, yes, this is the group of yeah, plant. This is the group of plant which has a representation of one of the largest group of plant among the monocot. Orchidaceae. Orchidaceae represents more than 25 thousands of species and it it is the family orchidaceae is the top most family among the among the monocots 25 species in world we get this representation and this particular group of plants orchids has very very unique pattern of structures in the flower itself one, you can see the hibiscus flower that there are five petals, five sepals, the uh, the the pattern of filaments, they are at the tip, then the, the, the stigma is like this. Here, such structures are not there. I'm going to show you some other flowers, but before that, you must be knowing that in any flower, we get five sepals, five petals. We get stamens, easily visible stamens, which is having a stalk called as a filament. And at the tip, we get the anther lobes. And anthers contains number of pollens. Pollen grains are there. Now, this is the plant, which is one of the most and most advanced group of plants. Why I'm telling this? Because this group of plants is not only mimicking the they are maybe mimicking like other group of plants. No, not at all. This group of plant is mimicking like you must have seen mimicry in insects, mean insect, other insect. But just imagine one plant is mimicking like other insect for the pseudo population, for uh, pseudo copulation. For the pollination itself means for the pseudo copulation. The plant is looking like this. I'm going to show you. I think that that photo I'm missing here, but in the next some after some slides, 
the actual photograph of the mimicry of a particular flower of orchid like an insect that will be seen later on but you can have a look this particular orchid is known as ladies slipper orchid this particular structure scientifically or structurally called as a labellum actually you are not much acquainted with the botanical terms but this is called as a labellum and it act as a launching site for the insects very very unique type of insect can come can visit to this particular can land here and for the nectary once it pierces its proboscis somewhere here but at the same time the male reproductive structure should get touches to somewhere on their body especially their head sometimes their eyes can get touched by that particular structure and there only we get the male reproductive structure called the pollinia please remember if you have to take your interest one has to understand the structures in the plants here the structure of pollinia are uniquely developed in other plants normal plants dicots we found that pollens are found in the pollen anther lobes they are free they can go uh, they can dusted but here the pollinia has developed pollens are embedded in pollen tube and that structure is known as a pollinia the presence of pollinia in this group is itself very unique because in enter plant world pollinias are present or represented by two families one is this orchidaceae from monocot and other is asclepiadaceae from dicot right to understand insect don't know whether it is polypetaly or gamopetaly whether it is monocotyledony or dicotyledony they are least bothered they bothered only representation through the structure representation for their existence representation for the pollination insect should get easily get attracted here this also actually this plant this flower known very well known from indonesia java very very rare endemic namely fabiopedilum javanicum and this is willowsum very nice very unique pattern of flowers we get as i told you that this is unique type of nepenthes nepenthes ampullaria the flask shaped structure we get in this particular uh, you know insectivorous plant pitcher flask shaped pitcher okay you must be know that um, garlic how the garlic is coming from the bottom like it has what we are eating in the vegetable that lasun okay all those structure are like ampul and this structure of this particular pitcher plant is similar actually it is the end structure of leaves if you see somewhere here the leaves gets ended to this pitcher this particular pitcher or ghat we marathi we call it as a ghat the plant what we get here in india it has a bigger cap the flap is bigger this opening is actually in our region in the khasis in shillong we get the bigger cap on it but here we get very smaller one this nepenthes ampullaria is representing the biodiversity of indonesia especially java sumatra bali this is insectivorous plant again i would like to tell you one thing collector in marathi मी तुम्हाला सांगितल्याप्रमाणे हे इन्सेक्ट इटिंग प्लांटचं स्ट्रक्चर आहे हे जे पिचर आहे हा त्याचा ओपनिंग पार्ट आहे इट इज व्हेरी ग्लॉसी व्हेरी अट्रॅक्टिव्ह कलरफुल सो दॅट त्याच्यामध्ये छोटं बेडूक उंदीर असे ट्रॅप होऊ शकतं 
इन्सेक्ट त्याच्यामध्ये अट्रॅक्ट होऊ शकतं परंतु मग त्याने काय होतं की याच्यामध्ये काही अमाऊंट मध्ये वॉटर असत आणि समजा एखादा इन्सेक्ट एखाद छोटा मॅमल फ्रॉग जर याच्यामध्ये गेला तर तो आतलवून बाहेर यायलाच नाही पाहिजे अशा प्रकारचं एक ट्रॅप अशा प्रकारचं एक मेकॅनिझम आपण या प्लांटमध्ये बघू शकतो दिस इज द नॉर्मली वॉट वी फाउंड इन द पिक्चर प्लांट ओके ऍट द सेम टाइम ऍट द सेम टाइम सम ग्रुप ऑफ अँड्स वॉट दे डीड दे मेड सम ओपनिंग इन साईड बिकॉज हे जे एम्पूल दिसत किंवा हे पिक्चर दिसत त्याचं आउटर सरफेस तुम्हाला असं दिसत आहे रेडिश स्पॉट असलेलं आणि आतल्या बाजूच असं येलोइश ग्रीनिश दिसत आहे याच्यामध्ये थिकनेस असत ते अँड्स काय करतात की याच मेन ओपनिंग कुठे हा स्टॉक आहे लिप्स आहे टिप आणि त्याच्या पुढे हे पिक्चर तयार झालेलं आहे ते अँड्स या स्टॉक मध्येच एक भोग तयार करतात भोल तयार करतात आणि या घटाच्या मधून रस्ता करतात कुठपर्यंत रस्ता करतात जिथपर्यंत या पिक्चर मध्ये सरफेस जो असतो ना लिक्विड जे असतं त्या लेवल पर्यंत ओपनिंग करतात आणि जे इन्सेक्ट्स या याच्यामध्ये ट्रॅप झालेले असतात सरफेस वरती तरंगत असतात जसं आपण मगाशी बघितलं की ड्रॉसेरा मध्ये ते ट्रॅप करतात आणि त्यातलं भरपूर म्हणजे नायट्रोजन शोषून घेतात आणि फक्त त्याचा सांगाडा राहतो इथे पण तेच होत त्या लिक्विड मध्ये पडलं की त्यातनं सगळं नायट्रोजन त्या लिक्विड मध्ये परकोले खाली जात शोषून घेतलं जात आणि त्याचे फक्त सांगाडे राहतात पण काही अँड्स फार युनिकली त्या सरफेस पर्यंत जातात आणि जे इन्सेक्ट यांनी ट्रॅप केलेले या पिक्चर प्लांटनी ते इन्सेक्ट त्या अँड्स ते पळून घेऊन जातात This is really a wonderful way it is happening. म्हणजे जे काम या टीचरने केलेलं आहे त्या इन्सेक्टला ट्रॅप करण्याचं जे इन्सेक्ट त्यांचं राईट आहे परंतु दुसरे इन्सेक्ट मुंग्या येतात आणि यांनी ट्रॅप केलेल्या मुंग्या ते पळून घेऊन जातात किंवा इन्सेक्ट पळून घेऊन जातात टू ट्राय टू अंडरस्टँड द वे द इंटरॅक्शन इज नॉट इन बिटवीन यु नो इन्सेक्ट इन्सेक्ट ऑर इन्सेक्ट प्लांट द इंटरॅक्शन इज फॉर द फूड फॉर द इन्सेक्ट ऑल्सो okay this is one of the interesting thing i would like to tell you as i told you in, in the beginning this is the group of you know suran you must be knowing that the suran is actually a edible uh, plants it has a long this pet means aluvargiya plant hai and this particular aluvargiya plant has the biggest inflorescence in the world i'm going to show you that particular inflorescence in the next slide you see this is actually a a full of inflor this is full of inflorescence okay it has a spet you must be knowing that this is called as a spadix type of inflorescence in this inflorescence what is there inside inside there is a here the female flowers here the male flowers without sepal without petal all male and female flowers are naked without any covering only cover is there that is this spet and let me tell you <coughs> that the most attractive part of this inflorescence is this this elongated structure it is called as a appendage this appendage can easily observable for the insect pollinator this also looks something different you can see this also it is looks like a, like a, a cobra hood okay i told you that this is spet at the bottom we get female flowers at the tip somewhere there are male flowers once the insects gets attracted because of a fitted smell by this particular uh, appendage the insects get attracted kon the insect ashe insect ki janna sotala structures nahi hai jase shena varti vadnare kide astat ki je nehmi ghanikade attract hotat ta ghanik madhun tanna food ghenacha prayatna kartat ashe insects ya plant madhe attract hotat या प्लांटचं इन्फ्लोरसनचा स्मेल अत्यंत फिटीड असतो अत्यंत घनेड असतो आणि त्याच्या आतला जो भाग असतो दॅट इज व्हेरी रिच विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू शुगरी सबस्टन्स तर सरफेस शुगरी सबस्टन्स असतो सगळा आणि जेव्हा इन्सेक्ट एखादा इन्सेक्ट आज जातो जोपर्यंत त्याला भरपूर त्याला खाद्य मिळत नाही तो इन्सेक्ट त्याचं जे 
प्लांट स्ट्रक्चर है लोकेशन है तो सोड़ नहीं मैं बयाच वेला ऑब्जर्वेशन मध्य बगित कि अन्सेक्ट्स ये सर्फेज वर न वर जता स्वतः खाली झोकून देता सो दैट ये है फिमेल फ्लावर्स ये है मेल फ्लावर्स ये देखी पोलन्स मिलू शकत ये सग कर हा स्ट्रक्चर मध्य फ्लाय करता हा जो खाल जो पार्ट है फिमेल फ्लावर का जिथे स्टिग्मा तिथे दे गेट कनेक्टेड दे गेट अटैच एंड लाइक वाइज वी गेट द पॉलिनेशन सद्या बगित जे का चालू है तो सग पॉलिनेशन सा चालू है इन्सेक्टला फूड पाइजे प्लांट लाइ पाइजे पॉलिनेशन पाइजे मैं पॉलिनेशन या बदल इन्सेक्ट दयाजे बदल फूड मिलते प्लांट क्या होता पॉलिनेशन च काम होते जरा विचार करा कि नेचर मध्य सग ग हजारों वर्षापस चालू है अपने महित नसेल तरी सु चालू है ये संगने का उद्देश्य असा कि अंडरस्टैंडिंग नेचर अपने बयाचा गोषी निसर्गाम अजु ही महती वह दिस इज अबाउट द पॉलिनेशन शिफ्ट टूवर्ड्स अ डिस्पर्सल ये जी सीड्स आता सगे ऑरेंज रेडिश होता दिस कलर इज नॉट फॉर अस दिस इज फॉर सम बर्ड्स बर्ड्स कैन गेट विजिट एंड टेक दिस पर्टिक्युलर सीड्स अवे फ्रॉम द मदर प्लांट लाइक वाइज वी गेट the dispersal in this particular group of plants amorphophallus is one of the most amazing group of plant among the aroids these are called aroids manje alu vargiya vanaspati ya plant cha group cha vaishishtya manje jagatla sagalyat motha inflorescence ya group of ya family madhe ahe jagatla sagalyat motha pan leaf single leaf ya family madhe ahe asa tacha uniqueness apan baghu shakto साप कंदा मनता प्लांट है सेम स्ट्रक्चर है एमोरफोपाल प्यूरी फोलिस् सगले एंडेमिक है वर्ल्ड मध्य तुम्हारा कुछ ही पाया मिलना नहीं अंडेमिक आइसक्रीम ऐसी स्कूप सार्क दिस्त है दैट इज एपेन्डेज हेज वेरी फिकिट स्मेल तुम्हें जर आता का कोकना तुम्हें गेला कुछ घानेडा कुजका वास जर आला तो यहाँ अर्थ समझाए कि तिथे आसपास कुछ तरी सूर्ना की फूल फुल एक फूल नहीं है फुला गुच्छ है हा तुम्हारा महति पाजे दिस इज टाइटन एरम एमोरफोफेलस टिटैनियम जगत सगत मोट इन्फ्लोरस है अत्यंत घानेडा वस आतो ये वस इतक प्रचंड मोट आता तैयार होने सा वातावरण मध्य फार सुटेबल क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन लगता लाइक देर शुड बी मोर ह्यूमिडिटी राइट फ्रॉम एटी फाइव पर्सेंट एबाव टेम्परेचर शुड बी मोर दैन एट फोर्टी एट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सि मॉइस्चर शुड बी मेन्टेन इन अ पर्टिक्युलर रीजन लाइक वाइज वी गेट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द सच टाइटन एरम दिस इज वर्ल्ड बिगेस्ट टॉलेस्ट इन्फ्लोरस वर्ल्ड बिगेस्ट फ्लावर जवपास एक सव्वा मीटर पर्यत डायमेंशन जगत सगत फूल जर बी संधि आई ट्राइड आई ट्राइड टू लोकेट दिस प्लांट ड्यूरिंग माय दिस मंथ फर्स्ट वीक विजिट टू बाली आई विजिटेड इंडोनेशिया टू सी दिस अनफॉर्चुनेटली मैं बहुत नहीं वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट फ्लावर वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट फ्लावर च स्ट्रक्चर कस है देर आर हाउ मेनी पेटर्स फाइव पेटर्स यू सी द पेटल लोब्स आर यू नो फ्री हियर इट शोइंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यूनिक पैटर्न ऑफ ग्रोथ तुम्हें जो बॉटनी चाहे विद्यार्थी तो तुम्हारा एस्टिमेशन महती बरबर कि नहीं ओके अरेन्जमेंट ऑफ पेटर्स इन बर्ड कंडीशन आता हे हाँ जे पेटल है हे पूर्ण आत आत इट इज शोइंग क्विंकनशील टाइप ऑफ एस्टिवेशन वी कैन इजीली ऑब्जर्व ये दोन पेटल्स आत है दोन पेटल्स बाहर है पेटल बाहर है हिपन पेटल बाहर है एक जी पेटल है ती एक बाजू आत मधे एक बाजू बाहर है ये वरती संशोधन है ये पैटर्न का है ओके मैं तुम्हें फूल फिर बगता है मैं तुम्हें प्रत्येक छान खोड़ा पाजे छान मुलाजे छान हिरवीगर पहाड़ा पाजे 
फुलं फळं सगळं तुमची अपेक्षा असते सगळं दिसलं तर आपल्याला परिपूर्ण वाटतं परंतु ही केस हे जे काही स्ट्रक्चर्स असतात आपलं जे वाटतं तसं सगळीकडेच असायला पाहिजे सगळंच तसं असतं तसं नाहीये वाटतं तसं आपल्याला जंगलामध्ये पाहायला मिळत नाहीये दिस पर्टिक्युलर प्लांट इज ए टोटल पॅरासाइट ट्राय टू अंडरस्टँड इट डज नॉट हॅव एनी रूट सिस्टेम इट डज नॉट हॅव अ बिगर स्टेम लाईक एनिथिंग एल्स इट डोंट इट इट इज नॉट प्रोड्युसिंग एनी लिव्ह इट इज ग्रोईंग ऑन ए lofty trees or lianas and it takes many years to get flowers the flower in a itself the plant sa garji chi gosht astana sudha ti 40 varsha nanta flowering eta two years back before covid if i am not wrong the 14 years cap flowers flowering is there that is comes in the strobelanthus nilgirianthus tala nile kurunji asa mantat उटी कोडायकेळच्या भागामध्ये नीलगिरीमध्ये त्याचं फ्लावरिंग येतं वन्स इन फॉर्टीन इयर्स तुम्ही पिक्चर मध्ये तरी बघितलं असेल ऍटलिस्ट सी द मेकॅनिझम बिकॉज इट हॅज टू वेट टिल टू गेट दी फेवरेबल एन्व्हायरमेंटल कंडिशन साऊथ ईस्ट एशियन कंट्रीज मध्ये कॅम्बोडियामध्ये मलेशियामध्ये असे काही प्लांट्स आहेत ट्रीज आहेत की दोज फ्लावर्स वन्स इन वन ट्वेंटी फाय इयर्स जर अशी सिच्युएशन त्याच्यामध्ये जर असेल तर हे पॅटर्न हे मेकॅनिझम कधी सुरू झालेलं आहे हे पण आपल्याला माहिती असणं गरजेचं आहे सगळ्याच गोष्टींची जे इनेटनेस जो आहे जे सिक्रेट आहे अजूनही आपल्याला तितकंच समजलेलं नाहीये जे कळलेलं आहे ते फार कमी प्रमाणात समजलेलं त्या दृष्टीने आपण विचार करू शकतो की आपल्याला काय शिकायचं कसं शिकायचं आणि कशासाठी शिकायचं ओके next we'll move towards now we'll see some insects like this wonderful thing ata he thoda sami marathi sangaycha te prayatna karto an interaction he aplyala bakta na apan plant insect interaction bakto tumhala kay dissta yacha madhe ya teen picture madhe kay plant structure ahet phula dissat kalya dissat kay insect he je mungle ahe he je mungle ahe ते मोठ्या प्रमाणामध्ये जिथे बर्ड्स असतात त्या ठिकाणी येतात कॅन यू सी दिस पर्टिक्युलर थ्रेड लाईक स्ट्रक्चर लाईक अ वेब दिसत काय ते कुणी तरी काय तयार केलेलं मुंग्यांनी केलेलं आहे का नाही कुणी केलेलं तयार हे जे दिसत या निम्पनी ते तयार केलेलं आहे दिस इज माय पर्सनल ऑब्झर्वेशन द प्लांट नेम इज वाघाटी एस्पिकॅटा एनिमिक प्लांट to sayadri ranges and jeva jeva march april madhe ya plant la flowering asta ithe tithe tumhi gela he kale munge tumhala mungla disnar as he kay karta tithe they are not able to get the nectar from the birds or whatever food is there inside get ani pratyek vela ithe flower flower phulya nantar tala khayla milel ashi guarantee nahi hai mai ya plant madhe kay hota ya बेसला काही शुगरी सबस्टन्स अवेलेबल असतात दॅट सबस्टन्स गेट अवेलेबल फॉर द दिस ब्लॅक बट ऍट द सेम टाइम दे नीड मोअर हॅन्ड नीड मोअर दॅट्स वाय हे जे निम्प असतात त्या निम्पला ते पेट करतात लिटरली पाळतात आणि हे निम्प काय करतात की त्यांचं स्ट्रक्चर इथे पियर्स करतात या बर्ड्स मध्ये आणि त्यातून सगळं सबस्टन्स शुगरी सबस्टन्स बाहेर घेतात काढून घेतात आणि त्याच्या अगेन्स्ट हे जे अँट आहे त्याच्या अँडल ओपनिंगला थांबतं सो दॅट या इन्सेक्टनी घेतलेलं शुगरी सबस्टन्स याच्या अँडल ओपनिंग मध्ये बाहेर आलं की हे अँट त्याच्या त्या अँट त्या निम्फच्या एक्सक्रिटावरती जगते म्हणजे इथे फक्त प्लांट इन्सेक्ट इंटरॅक्शन नाही तर प्लांट इन्सेक्ट इन्सेक्ट इंटरॅक्शन आपण बघू शकतो यु गॉट माय पॉइंट आय होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस ते कुठे ओपन फ्लॉवर्स आहेत बट दे हा मुंगळा एवढा मोठा आहे की तो त्या फ्लॉवरच्या आतमध्ये जाऊ शकत नाही टू गेट द नेक्टरी समटाइम कॅन यू सी दिस दिस ड्रॉप नेक्टरी तर ते शक्य झालेलं आहे कारण त्यांनी मोठं तो पार्ट मोठा केलेला आहे आणि त्या फ्लॉवर मधनं इतकं बाहेर वॉट यू गेट अदर दॅन दिस यू गेट समवेअर हिअर द नेक्टरीज आर द्या समवेअर ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ दिस पर्टिक्युलर 
and we get the nectary here also can you see this on its head we see the nectary likewise get the interaction this this xylocopa this carpet bee is there very uniquely it has the interaction jasa maga shi bollo polinia aslela orchidaceae family ahe ani dusra ahe te rui rui cha ha stigma jo disto varti pandra ani tela corona asto yala corona mantat yala staminal corona mantat la अत्यंत कॉम्प्लिकेटेड स्ट्रक्चर आहे या रुई मध्ये आपल्या रुई म्हटलं की त्याच्या पानांचा उपयोग म्हणाला व्हायचा एवढंच फक्त माहिती आहे फ्लॉवर आपण करत नसतो पांढरी रुई फार रेअर आहे आणि अशा प्रकारे मग रुई कडे बघितलं जातं बट इट सेल्फ इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर प्लांट द फ्लॉवर शोज द युनिक स्ट्रक्चर व्हॉट इज दॅट स्ट्रक्चर दिस कोरोना कोरोना इज देअर देन द स्टिग्मा आय थिंक समन समन हॅज गॉट Unmuted and I'm um, getting some noise. Sir, can you see who's that? Thank you. Here the stigma is there. Can you see? And in each corner, it's a pentagonal stigma. We get the five corners, and each corner has has the pollinia. There are five pollinias. The pollinia just structure mala sangne shakti ne pratte kala, but somewhere. at the first leg here can you see this white yellow structure this is pollinia ani he je kai carpenter bee ahe te continuously it is finding the flowers get nectar to get some sorts of food okay likewise we get this particular we get the interaction आणि ही कार्पेंटर बीज आहे आर कमर्शियली यूज टू पॉलिनेट पॅशन फ्रुट फ्लॉवर्स इन फिलिपिन्स पॅशन फ्रुट तुम्हाला माहिती आहे कृष्ण कमळ त्याला म्हणतात त्याच्या पॉलिनेशनला याला पेट केलं जातं एका एन्क्लोजर मध्ये टाकलं जातं सो दॅट दिस पर्टिक्युलर कार्पेंटर बी इज ऍक्टिंग एज इम्पॉर्टंट पॉलिनेटर फॉर दॅशन फ्रुट आय थिंक आय हॅव शोन दिस ओके दिस बी can you see this b which is called a b orchid okay it looks like a female b that's so the male can get attracted for the pseudo copulation but it fails but the the insect failure is a success for this particular uh, you know flower because these two pollinia they are waiting for the uh, a small visit of that particular male uh b okay likewise we get the mimicking in the orchid amazingly we get this pollination services by honey bees honey bees are another very very important element or group of insect which plays very very important role in the pollination biology almost 60% of pollination is carried out by honey bees they travel right from few meters to 5 kilometers for foraging you should know the way the uh, honey bees are there, uh, are taking their role in the pollination people says that honey bees are going to the flower then they are taking nectar they are making nick out of that but what we observed we observed that in spite of the requirement they are not collecting more amount of nectar but they are collecting more amount of pollens because pollens act as most important source of food for their brood the pole made je caterpillar astat the caterpillar manje anda tun jeva tanche alya bahar etat te alanna khayla kay tyacha asel to te hani kami pramana deta pan jasta pramana made pollen grains gola karun anlele astat tat protein cha praman jasta asta ani tyache gole karun tanna khayla gada literally itke chan mechanism tumhi या हनी बीज मध्ये बघू शकता मी सांगितल्याप्रमाणे हनी बीज हे पाच किलोमीटर पर्यंत त्यांच्या पोळ्यापासून लांब अंतरावर जाऊ शकतो अजून आपण काय ऑब्झर्व केलेलं आहे हनी बीज जनरली ज्या फ्लॉवरला व्हिजिट करतात ते आयदर अशा रंगाचे ब्लूइश असतात पर्पल कलरचे असतात व्हाईटिश येलोइश असतात लाईक दि सनफ्लॉवर अँड दिस मिथिया लाईक दिस पर्टिक्युलर जांभूळ 
ओके अजून एक प्लांट तुम्हाला दाखवतो इथे दिस इज ऍक्च्युली हे कॅपरिस कॅपरिस मध्ये त्याच ते फक्त पोलन ग्रेन्स घ्यायला जातात दे आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन गेटिंग द नेक्टरी आउट ऑफ इट यू सी दिस पर्टिक्युलर कार्वी विच इज कॉल्ड ए टोपली कार्वी विच फ्लावर्स एव्हरी इयर अँड दिस ऑल्सो ओके दिस कुंभा वी गेट ओनली पोलन्स then jambul both pollens and the nectary can collected here the bombex also okay adhi pan tumhala bolo to bombex is it's a huge flowers huge flower with number of uh, filaments ample amount of nectar we get at the bottom of the flower okay ek observation bhi tumhala sangto jasa mashi ek popat parakit ta gulmora cha pakda kad hota tasach mi asa baghitla ki हनी बीज जे असतात त्यांना सुद्धा कन्फ्युजन होऊ शकतं काही हनी बीज काय करतात की ज्यावेळी दुसऱ्या कुठल्या हनी बीनी एखाद्या फ्लॉवरला व्हिजिट करायचं असेल तर त्या काय करतात की ज्या फ्लॉवर मधन नेक्टरी घेण्याचं काम पूर्ण झालेलं आहे ते नेक्टरी घेतलं पोलन घेतलं त्याच्यानंतर ते काय करतात दे युज टू कट फिलॅमेंट हे फिलॅमेंट जे असतात ते ते कट करून दुसऱ्या पोलनच जे वेस्टेज ऑफ व्हिजिट आहे ते अवॉइड करायचा प्रयत्न करतो दॅट अंडरस्टँडिंग इज देअर अमंग द इन्सेक्ट एस्पेशली द स्मार्टर इन्सेक्ट लाईक हनी बीज सी दिस इज एपिसा एपिस सेरेना द सेकंड पेअर ऑफ this particular bee is full of full of this pollens likewise this also this is trigona stingless bee he bee savat nahi parantu orchid madhe he fakt pollens gele jate it is tala ka interest nahi at madhe nectary cha kay nectary he ji bee hai api serena it is deeply going inside the flower and this plant This plant belongs to family Acanthaceae. दिस प्लांट बिलॉंग्स टू फॅमिली अकॅन्थसी म्हणजे आपल्याकडे अडुळसा तुम्हाला माहिती असेल त्या प्लांटमध्ये जेव्हा पॅरल इव्होशन इव्होल्युशन झालं को इव्होल्युशन झालं त्यावेळी या प्लांटमध्ये काय बदल झाला नॉर्मली याच्यात पाच पेटल्स आहेत पाच सेपल्स आहेत मग स्टेमेंट्स किती पाहिजेत पाच परंतु याच्यातले पाच स्टेमेंट्स एक्झिस्ट करत नाही यापैकी फक्त चार करतो मग ते चार कसे वाढतात दोनचे स्टेमेंट लांब असतात दोनचे छोटे असतात याचा अर्थ काय छोटा इन्सेक्ट आला आणि त्या लांब असलेल्या पोलन्सला अँथरलोक ला चिकटला नाही तर तो जो इन्सेक्ट जाईल ऍटलिस्ट त्याला तरी त्या छोट्या दोन अँथरलोक मधन किंवा फिलामेंट्स मधन ते पोलिनेशनचं काम होईल त्याचं पोलन त्याच्या बॉडीवरती चिकटलं गेलं पाहिजे हे त्याच्या मागचं सिम्पल लॉजिक आपण याच्यामध्ये बघू शकतो हे स्ट्रक्चर बघा आता एखाद्या मॅनमेड ऍक्टिव्हिटीज मध्ये हे छोट्या छोट्या गोष्टी आपण बघतो पण प्लांट मध्ये इन्सेक्ट मध्ये अशा प्रकारचं स्ट्रक्चर तयार झालेलं अशा प्रकारचं मेकॅनिझम आपण बघितलं तर इट इज रिअली अमेझिंग यु सी दिस एपिस डॉरसेटा म्हणजे अगी मोहडाची माशी ही स्टिंगलेस बी आहे ओके नाव याचा इंटरेस्ट काही छोट्या प्रमाणात नेक्टर मिळत पण at the same time it collects the pollen somewhere here it ek pollen bag asa tyachatna mota pramanat te deposit karta likewise it flies around the uh, carvi flowers magai sangitle pramane fakta he pollen sa gola karta they are least bother about the nectar inside somewhere okay this is foraging behavior in lady borias stingless bees continuously they get asta this ant is there and web it's called the cremastogaster cremasto gaster and this is actually spathodia tumche kade pan shara madhe asel actually exotic ahe trumpet flower ashe astat ani ya insect aksharsha purna kshamateni ya doni hi proboscis ne te literally he remove karte ani sagal remove kelela जे पोलन्स आहेत ते पोलन्स बॅग मध्ये ते घालण्याचा प्रयत्न करत आहे दिस सेरिना इंडिका इंटरेस्टिंगली 
we get this particular association among the indigenous bee and exotic tree some sorts of association interaction likewise we get this particular yacha madhe mote birds yu shakat nahi pan insect pollination madhe how they get involved in the pollination this particular you know uh, plant is endemic to uh, western ghats sayadri yacha varti ja ani bees basta they are not interested even for the pollen pollen nasta yacha madhe nectar nasta kami asta but they are highly interested in the nectar they are moving clockwise or anti clockwise around this particular inflorescence and try to get as much as pollen grains they can collect from the inflorescence of this particular endemic plant this endemic plant is called the nili manjari augustemon deccanensis this is smithia this plant is acting this portion acting as a launching site for this this bees this is senecio endemic surya phulatsa hai but it is actually a combination of flowers many flowers are there ray florets and at the center dis florets are there likewise this particular habitat is acting as a party or feast for the insects so many insects butterflies bees they used to go and they are enjoying to collect maximum amount of nectar likewise we get this unique habitat you see whenever you observe the uh behavior of particular butterfly butterfly does not lay her egg where other butterflies has already laid her eggs for that this particular butterfly from zero point what she is doing she is checking whether other other butterfly has lay her egg beneath the uh, you know leaf or not i have seen from 0 to up to 1 minute this particular butterfly check through the this particular organ egg laying organ it check karta the nasel tacha sarka tumhala maiti asel ki eka prakar cha butterfly te tacha food plant madhe me swatantra sathe nahi tar ta anda tu nignara caterpillar la je paije ya plant varte te andi galta ani tachas prakar cha dusra butterfly ni jar ghatle asel याचा अर्थ काय दोघांचं फूड प्लांट फूड रिक्वायरमेंट एकच आहे अननेसेसरी त्यांच्यात कॉम्पिटिशन व्हायला नको आहे दॅट्स वाय दॅट पर्टिक्युलर बटरफ्लाय चेकिंग वेदर इट इज देअर ऑर नॉट एक्स आर देअर ऑर नॉट एका मिनिटात त्याला समजलं त्या बटरफ्लायला इथं आधी कुणी अंडी घातलेली नाही देन राईट फ्रॉम वन मिनिट अप टू ट्वेंटी एट मिनिट्स वी सी दी स्टेजेस वी सी हिअर नंबर ऑफ एग्ज beneath this particular leaf mujhe leaf cha khalli avle khatle dista now some butterflies they are like a leaf this is called the oak leaf butterfly mimicking leaf it has a defense mechanism this is common crow now it is also piercing her probos uh, its proboscis somewhere in the flower this plant is also endemic you can see the way it is showing that the structure mimicking butterfly we can say mimicking butterfly butterflies are not taking you know the uh, material chemicals from the living part of the plant but they are also getting something from the dried part some chemicals if the plant is having some infection you must be knowing after getting infected some plants are oozing out some chemicals some some such oozes some chem such chemicals get collected by the butterflies is in nature nothing is waste this is an interesting observation this is cycas you must be knowing cycas plant now cycas plant madhe je ek leaf asta he sagle leaflets hai ek leaf je asta te kasa asta atla bajula coiling asta can you see this this is a coiled leaf अनकॉइलिंग जेव चालू होते होता कि इट गेट्स एक्सपोज मोर एक्सपोज बट बिफोर अनकॉइलिंग दिस पर्टिक्युलर एग लिव एग लिंग मेकनिजम हेज टू फिनिश देर फॉर दे आर सर्चिंग 
आता इतने एक पेक्षा जास्त बटरफ्लाय आए परंतु इतने एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ फूड है इन फॉर्म ऑफ दिस बिग लीफ ऑफ साइकस ये मेकैनिजम लॉन्ग टेल बटरफ्लाय मध्य अपन बगू शो इट्स वंडरफुल थिंग लाइक वाइज कैन यू सी एमोफ्लाजी समवेर हियर दी ग्रॉसोफोर्स आर देर का ग्रॉसोफोर्स लैट्रेटिक प्लैटूज वरती जता मैं रंग लैट्रेटिक प्लैटू या चिर सारा दिखो माती सारा रंग दिखो इतक अपन बगू शको इट्स अ डिफेन्स मेकैनिजम अगेन इट लुक्स लाइक अ लीफ स्केमोफ्लेजिंग ओके लाइक वाइज ऑल सच डिस्ट्रक्टिव मेकैनिजम वी फाउंड इन डिफरंट मेनी पार्ट ऑफ द सयाद्रीज लाइक वाइज बिग ट्रीज ऑफ Almost 80, 90 feet has gone. For what? For this. If you see this particular plateau, as plateaus are unique, unique habitat in Western Ghats, coastal Atlantic, as well as at the raised Atlantic plateaus like Mahabalesh or Panjgani, like Khas Plateau, adjoining area of this plateau is full of evergreen forests. But because of the traditional method of agriculture this is for ragi cultivation the earlier photo it looks good no do you like this can you respond yes, yes sir like this photo did you like this photo yes sir yes sir yes sir i, I don't like yes, this photo. Yes. i don't like this photo i hate this photo why can anybody tell me why because this region once upon a time full of beautiful vegetation this is actually a mango orchard in konkan in coastal region now this particular wonderful forest has gone we get this mangoes and that will be remain as it is for next 40 years 50 years after that what these particular pits will will get replaced by the new type of plant might be something coco might be some other variety or other variety of mango but what about the lost we lost so many unique habitats from our western ghats in the konkan as well that's why i don't i hate this picture because people they are cutting like anything make tumhala example sangto i was a professor in lanja ratnagiri and during 2012 13 many european countries have has banned the alfonso mangoes import from the konkan especially ratnagiri and devgarh but anna 3 te 4 5 varsha anna ithe allowed kele nahi disqualify karna cha reason kay hota fruit cha mango cha tar tanni motya pramanat jast pramanamade insecticides vaparle मैं तीन इन्सेक्टिसाइड्स का वरले होते तथे जेव आम आए तो आम्मी बोलो कि तुम्हें इन्सेक्टिसाइड्स कसाटीपरता पेस्टिसाइड कसाटीपरता तो मनले इन्सेक्ट भरपूर ये मटल कि तुम्हें तुम्हार ज्यादा ऑर्चर्ड मधे जे ओरिजिनल मैंगोज होते मैंगो अपने देशी मैंगोज होते ट्रीज होते सगले तुम्हें तोड़ नैचरल फूड तुम्हें कापून टाकले तो इन्सेक्टला एफिट्सला का घेने देने नहीं है कि तुम मैंगो को मैं तुम्हें ऐक्चुअली एक सस्टेनेबल मॉडल तिथ कर कि रिजनल फ्लोरा मधले इम्पॉर्टंट ट्रीज अच्छा पाजे तो सो दैट क्या इन्सेक्टला जो ओरिजिनल सोर्स ऑफ फूड है तो तसा तुम्हें नोइंगली और अनोइंगली दे आर डूइंग बट दैट इज अ बिग लॉस हैबिटेट लॉस वी आर इंटरफेरिंग अवर डेवलपमेंट विद द नेचर और नैचरल साइकल दैट्स वाई आई डोट आई हेट दिस very sorry to say this but this is really unfortunate uh, demand from all citizens towards the mango majhada asha anek photos ahet this is also one of the photo from unesco world heritage site chandoli where i did my phd during 2005 10 this is from same region typical evergreen forest has gone now it will take another 500 years to get the the thing what was there see 
लोकांनी हे व्हॅली पण सोडलेले नाहीत कोकणामध्ये इथं इथं तुम्ही बघू शकता ओके इथे कॅशनट प्लांटेशन इथं मँगो प्लांटेशन पण वॉट दिस इज द प्रॉब्लेम आय टू अंडरस्टँड अगेन बिग फॉरेस्ट हॅज गॉन फॉर वॉट टू गिव्ह सप्लाय ऑफ टिंबर टू द इंडस्ट्री दिस इज अनदर प्रॉब्लेम After some time interval, what will happen? You show you are better understand. Now this is my last slide. Grow tree, recycle, save on paper, water and electricity. Encourage learn about biodiversity. Teach others about biodiversity. Lastly, the future of our biodiversity is in. Our hand, your hand. Lastly, to me, the guy, my observation, so they, to my like, I show they, to me, they, I'm really thankful. To you.